Welcome back to Junkyard Summit and today's video is an experiment on different memory configuration on a Ryzen APU and see how it can affect the gaming performance of it. The test that I will be doing is limited to uh, different memory capacity as well as differentiation between single channel and dual channel memory as this has been questioned a lot in our local tech community and I think it's about time that I do my own testing regarding this matter. Memory clock testing is not included in this video as there are already a lot of articles out there that discusses these kinds of testing and we all know that having a higher memory clock is better for our Ryzen APUs. So for today's testing, I will be doing 8 scenarios on 6 games in total. So first, we have one 4GB stick, then two 4GB stick in single channel and in dual channel. After that, we have one single 8GB stick, then followed by a 4 plus 8 uh, in dual channel. So that is total of 12 gigs. Then after that, we have two 8 gigs running in dual channel again. Then uh, we also have a single 8 gig stick plus two 4 gig sticks. So that is a total of 16 gig sticks. And lastly, uh, single 16 gig stick memory testing. So the 4 gig sticks that I will be using today is the one from Team Group. So it is the Elite Plus. And I bought this not by pair. So uh, it was bought separately. Then as for our 8 gig stick, it is the Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB. Uh, for this one, it is a kit basis, so I bought it in pair. Then lastly, for the 16 gig stick, what I have is the G-Skill Triton Z RGB. All memories will be running on 3000 MHz memory clock for consistency. And the APU for this testing is my Ryzen 3 2200G on my Asus A320 motherboard. So it is the EX A320M Gaming. And 3 gigs of VRAM was set for the... APU so it is the Yuma buffer size and for the 4 gig stick I only set uh, 1 gig for the VRAM as a lot more might cause instability and crashes for the system. And with that let's see how it performs. First up is Dodo 2. We can see that running in dual channel will perform the best and having similar capacity will perform better as compared to a combination of 4 plus 8 gig one. Then again single channel will not perform as good as compared to the dual channel regardless if it's 16 gig or if you're running two sticks of 4 gig in single channel next up is gta 5 so at normal settings our dual channel can reach uh, above 70 fps for the average and over 30 fps for the one percent and 0.1 percent lows and then again uh, as similar with dota 2 single channels are not performing as good as the dual channel counterpart and the weird part is even my eight single stick uh, memory uh, ran worse at this test so next up is PUBG as we can see even at 720p that 4 gig is not enough to run this game smoothly uh, with just 1 FPS for the 0.1% lows expect a lot of micro stutters for this game then what we can see that our trend is it's leaning to the similar capacity dual channel at first for being the fastest followed by the dual channel in different capacity then lastly in single channel regardless on how high the capacity or how many sticks are you running then with r6 siege we can see that the game can run fine uh, even with single channel at 720p but running on dual channel similar capacity will give you again around 70 percent more fps as compared to the single channel ones so we have the new red dead redemption 2 game so at 4 gig, the game doesn't even run. I'm getting errors as it doesn't reach the minimum VRAM and system RAM requirement. And at 8 gigs, even in dual channel, the game is just sluggish, getting only 2 FPS for the 0.1%. So if you ever wanted to play this game or even try this game, I suggest going for a 2 8 gig sticks in dual channel. Our last game for today is Resident Evil 2 Remake. As we can see, a single 4 gig stick is just bad for the games and for our APU itself. And adding another 4 gig will give you almost double the FPS for the average and for the 1% and 0.1% lows. And the trend here is that getting similar capacity 
in dual channel will give you the best performance in most of our games. Based from the data that was shown, we learned that single channel really affects performance of an APU to as much as being 50% slower as compared to a dual channel setup. And while dual channel memory is optimal for our APUs, uh, running similar capacities will net you better frames as compared to something like a 4 plus 8 gig uh, setup. And also buying single sticks separately should be fine as long as they are of the same model as we can see with my Team Elite memories. So what's the verdict here? Uh, we can see that similarly spec memory matters if you want to maximize your FPS when running a Ryzen APU. Running different capacity in dual channel is still better than running single stick or in single channel but the difference is not worth it in my opinion and it is much better to just sell your uh, older RAM and get a pair or a kit instead. Placement of RAMs on your motherboard also matters as it usually won't run on dual channel if not placed properly. This is a common error that I usually see in uh, newbie system builders and for those people who are still not aware of the proper placement of the memories, uh, you usually place your RAMs on the second and fourth slot of your board but it is still better to check your motherboard's manual for assurance. As for single stick or single channel for your Ryzen APU, just don't do it. Especially the 4 gig ones, uh, I tend to see pre-built system having this kind of setup if not 4 gig, uh, a single stick of 8 gig. Because generally these are just bad investments and gaming will be much better if you spend a bit more uh, if you go for a 2-4 gig setup as compared to a single 8 gigabyte stick. As we can see in the chart, the extra that you paid for will give you roughly around 30-50% to 50 more FPS uh, as compared with running a single stick memory. And I think that is all for today's video. If you find this helpful, go hit the thumbs up and at the same time, do subscribe to my channel for more APU reviews and experiments like this. Once again, this is Prano of Junkyard Summit. Thank you and see you in the next one.